Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you how you can add your new table. Uh, now that we've created a table for your bridal registry, we're going to add it to the website and create uh, what we call a post so you can uh, display it on your website. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to blow this up for you again just because I don't know how, you know, what size screen you got going there. But at the top, you have uh, under here posts, add new. Or you can also do new post. We're just going to go ahead and click on new post. All right. And again, this looks all lopsided because uh, I blew the screen up for you. But uh, let's see that. We got our, our uh, sorry about that. We got our title area here. We got our content area right here. Okay. So now we're going to get started with this post. Okay. Now, we're going to create this post, and the first thing we do, we're going to put a title on it. I've been just putting the bride's name on there, just for, uh, to kind of simplify things. So we've got that done. All right. Now, what we have to do first is we're going to go over here and click this button that says HTML. So you can see we've got the visual uh, editor here, you know, bold, italic, all that other good stuff, just like in your, your email that has uh, HTML options. Very nice styling and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do, we're in the visual area, we're going to click on HTML, and we're going to add our table we just created. So uh, we're going to click on the button here that says table. All right, so now you see Beth Dukes and Neil Newman, the, the table we just created. So we're going to insert that table. All right, now, if all you got is a table, you don't have any pictures or anything, that's good. You're good to go. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. Now it's up on the web. So what we want to do, we're going to view it. We want to see how it looks. We're going to view our post here. All right, that's kind of huge. But, uh, yeah, so now you see it as it will appear on the web. Obviously this is not cor correct and complete just because I've used it for, a, for a, an uh, example. But uh, once it's there, it's automatically there. You can see you got two, uh, two bridal registries there. My computer's wigging out on me a little bit, so I'm very sorry, but you can see the, the names. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on in my browser, but uh, anyway. Uh, let's say we want to go back and edit this we want to we want to add a picture so still got this up we got edit post but let's say we let's say that we were done and we're gonna go back let's say we logged back in and we want to edit that post so we just go under posts edit and we'll choose this post here okay now if you want to add a photo we go back to our visual editor. It's a little bit easier to do it that way. So, you know, I'm just going to hit return here, give it a little bit of space. Okay. Now we're going to insert a picture. You see where it says upload insert. I'm going to blow it up for you again. Upload insert, the first uh, little grayed out box there. It's just for pictures. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just select a file from my computer. And I've already got the desktop pics folder. Uh, kind of queued up there. And I'm just going to look for a cutesy picture of me and my wife. Um, I've got some cutesy pictures of me and my wife, they're just not labeled very well. This one says kissy pic, let's do that. Alright, now let's see. It's a good idea to go ahead and put what we call alternate text for it. So let's say people's uh, computers aren't loading up images right. So let's we're just going to go ahead and click right there. All right. So if uh, you can't view the image, you know there will be a little bit of text that shows up. We want to go ahead and put a center alignment just because of the way these pages are kind of set up. And we'll just go ahead and click Insert into Post. All right, it looks kind of weird in the visual editor there. Not so weird now when you uh, zoom out. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit update. And 
and I want to view that post there so let's uh, let's do that hit the view post button and there it is just added a photo okay so we've updated the the uh, the, the, the uh, entry there and you can see it again kind of blinking for some reason but uh, yeah we got a bridal registries it's uh, on the link here under that link and then it's also down here at the bottom under the text good stuff now this wedding's over we don't want to see it anymore people have already bought all the uh, gifts and uh, yeah they don't want it to seem like they're greedy or anything so let's let's go back let's edit this post what we're gonna do we're gonna check this off here okay we're going to just go ahead and move to trash and that's selected you can see we have these options here move to trash check to Beth Dukes hit apply and that injury is in the trash I'm just gonna scoot this back again I'm really sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and re refresh I'm gonna go ahead and go back home How about that as you can see it's not there anymore and it's not there anymore down there now maybe you changed your mind and kill off that screen there maybe you changed your mind it's still in the trash you can go back and you can under the edit posts uh, link there still in the trash you click on the trash there where it's at and you can hit restore or we can hit delete permanently and it'll never show up again. Alright, but we hit uh, restore, it'll be back on the website. Good to go. Alright, I think that's pretty much the basics. So, um, yeah, when you're done, just uh, log out so nobody can uh, mess around with your account and uh, you're uh, set to go for the next time. So, thanks a lot.